Now, for more reports from the site of the blast at the Nyanya Bus Park in Abuja, CNBC Africa, Umu Ibrahim caught up with Frank Umba, the public relations officer of the Nigerian Police Force. Let's take a look. This is the scene where the explosion occurred early this morning in Abuja. Now behind me you can see a number of security personnel. We have the Nigerian Police Force, the Nigerian Civil Defense, the Nigerian Emergency Management Authority and some medical personnel. They are all trying to investigate the cause of the explosion. Earlier we spoke to the Nigerian Police Force Public Relations Officer to shade more light on this unfortunate incident. Well really an unfortunate incident. Um, the incident happened this morning at about 6.55 a.m. Um, for now, what is clear is that it is a case of uh, a, a suspected uh, bomb explosion. Um, investigation is currently ongoing. And, um, the, the, the bomb disposal squad of the Nigerian police force have already commenced uh, investigation and you can see the scene yourself uh, you can equally see the damage uh, most of the damage to property is actually uh, damage done to vehicles and other automobiles um, the scene is already secured by the police of, of course supported by the nigerian military the civil defense the, the department of state security and other law enforcement agencies we're all working together to actually handle this situation and handle it as effectively uh, as we can. The, 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 the Inspector General of Police, who is actually the head of, of the Nigerian Police Force, have already uh, was here this morning and he has actually directed uh, the line of investigations. We are increasing the level of surveillance in and around Abuja. Uh, we are raising the security alert. Uh, undercover operatives have been pushed out and we are paying very close attention to other motor parks and other vulnerable points within and around the city. Um, we, we just want to appeal to residents of FCT, particularly those who don't have any business being here, to actually leave the scene. We think it is not in their interest to continue to be here. They, actually, they are also obstructing investigations if they continue to remain here. And uh, we think from a, from a security and safety point of view, um, it is important they leave if they don't have any business being here. Can you confirm to us the number of casualties? We, we, I want to confirm the fact that indeed there are casualties, but I can't give you the exact number now. We want to give figures that we can back up empirically. We want to give, up, give figures that we can back up with facts. As I speak to you, our detectives are combing the hospitals and um, we are already putting the figures together. And um, as soon as these figures are ready, we will release them. We want to appeal to the media for patience in this, in this wise. We don't want to give figures based on, um, on estimates that are not backed up empirically. The, this unfortunate incident is coming at a time when Nigeria is looking forward to hosting a lot of world leaders at the World Economic Forum. Now, what do you feel? What kind of impact would this have on the World Economic Forum? Security challenge is a worldwide phenomenon, and I think this will not, um, as ba bad as it is, it's, it will not scare our visitors, neither will it scare our investors. Um, if you look around the world, even the best democracies in the world um, have had incidents of security one time or the other, from the United States to the United Kingdom to to Spain, to virtually all other big uh, economies and big democracies in the world. There have been issues of security breaches here and there. And yet, humanity have continued to forge ahead. Nigeria will forge ahead. We will come out of this situation stronger and better. We will come out this, from this situation as, as, as even a more united nation. Nigerians are becoming even increasingly more patriotic, increasingly more security conscious, and behind every cloud, every cloud, there is a silver lining. Now, Nigerians are still worried about security, and particularly the people of Abuja. Um, bearing in mind that this explosion actually occurred in Abuja, what can you say to the residents of Abuja with regards to security? 
we want to reassure residents of Abuja of our commitment to their collective safety, to their collective security. The law enforcement agents in Nigeria, not just the police, the Nigerian military, the Department of State Security Services, the civil defense and all of us, we are committed to, 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 to the welfare and well-being of Nigerians and we'll continue to give all we can to ensure that Nigerians are safe and that Nigeria is safe. We just want to appeal to them to remain security cautious, report all suspicious movement or suspicious objects to the law enforcement agencies. That was Frank Mba, public relations officer of the Nigerian police. Given